let's perform some analysis on type dispatching. So the idea here is to make only a minimal violation of abstraction barriers. When we write a cross-type function, that's the one place where we assume the implementation details of two different types at the same time. This system is extensible. If I add a new numeric type to the system later on, it could just install itself into the system by adding itself to the different dictionaries using an appropriate type tag. So we could create a new class, give it a type tag, add uh, new functions for adding, you know, complex and rational. Well, let's say we have some new type, imaginary numbers only, and we now need complex and imaginary. And then we just add that to the numbers adders dictionary. And that is a new way to perform cross-type arithmetic. Okay, so how many cross-type implementations do we really need? If we have m different types and n different operations, addition and multiplication. So I'm looking for some expression involving m and n, something like these, except for actually none of these are correct. So think about it for a moment. The answer I get is m times m minus 1, because we're not repeating the same type ever, but instead choosing a different type for the second argument. And we need these type pairs for every different operation, which is n different operations. So when you multiply all these things together, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, along with you know four different numeric types and three different second choices, all of a sudden you get a pretty big number of different cross-type functions you have to write. We could write these out in a table by saying what's the first argument, what's the second argument, and what are their type tags. And complex to complex, we've already defined using a shared interface. Rational and rational just exist in the rational class, but the cross-type ones here all need to be defined separately. 